still blocking off the one avenue artist though just backing away once the play with the rest of his team it is a 4v5 they have that advantage but sage walls on sage walls is gonna be blocking off another avenue it's a flood attempt nrg all the way moving through derek with the first one victor oh my goodness right click to the face will be brought down cryo's taking a fight straight to them still alive still kicking derek top 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 and the classics do a war what a big round from cryo just with elbow control yeah pushes them all the way back there but uh interesting will allow 100 thieves to get into the site in theory satcheling through asana in through the back Derek covering a lot of this ground with the phantom in his hands asana making quick work make sure that he holds down the ground at least but he might be able to find a timing nevertheless needs to play with the rest of his team it's a good high tide it does the same thing the viper wall would for the retake Pushing through now as Victor takes the timing, takes his name as well. The rest of NRG moving forwards, taking the back of the side. It's down to just Stella. Bit of spam forwards, but there's a cove in his face. He needs to break it. He doesn't have the gun for it. Stuck all the way through. 44 seconds left, though. And NRG have players to try and shore up the defenses of this B side. If that's where they want to choose to end, it seems likely. Double Satchel to the side. That's the claims his. Still in the fight, still in the action, though. Blinded. Moves to the side. Time is of the essence. Ten seconds left. Nine seconds left, be able to get that plant down, and Asna still holding down the angles. He is terrible. Looks so beautifully coordinated on the B side from 100 Thieves, and it's all based off how Asna entries and the others and make it into that top six to try and make it into the playoffs. A different approach though, this time moving forwards into showers. And Victor on top of the truck takes down Stella instantly. No stop her close to the corner, so nowhere to escape. Another satchel through into the back nade, gonna be rebounding. Off to the side a little bit too much, but Victor contains. Karma collected there with the aim and a satchel to disengage as he was blinded up. There was a res in play, but still. It's a 4v3! Oh. Derek! Where's he pulling that one from? He's answered though. It's a trade. Still Cryo has worked himself into that forward position. Control of lamps, but the spike is dropped in the middle of nowhere. Still, it's a two on two. They've made it winnable. Seeker's gonna be giving a little bit of okay information. Bit odd. This way, that way, not sure where they're going, but... NRG now going to be aware that still... Cryo going to be contained into lamps, and it's all about these timings with the orb placed up. That's actually given Crashies the timing to tuck bench. Player standing. He finds the first kill, and this locks it down as well. Oh, that's a beautiful round, and we got to see... Smokes have been dropped down, 100 Thieves, how do they want to approach this one? It's slow and steady. Laborous is the way I would describe it still. Maybe 100 Thieves can barrel their way through with a bit of brute force. Asuna. Putting his jewel out, a bit of a gap in the wall there, but a the plant's gonna go down here still. It's a 3v4 with planted. the reckoning in the back pocket of Som. It's gonna make this retake just that much more doable. Finally unleashed, flash round the side. Taking the fight straight to them and they're gonna be favored. Positioning, it's not good. Cryo constantly having to adjust. He's fighting his one to One more down, still throws the fourth, unbelievable. They are full flanking. But Bang's watching for it. Oh, the timing! Oh, the timing! Gun out, reflank attempt there. It's gonna be claiming two guns as well for their trouble. Still moving oh, forwards. Oh, the they don't have that hookah control. Grenade. Waiting out of time though. Nade into the back of the side, but no one obviously gonna be there. Showstopper right to the side with a satchel in play. Last Victor finds it on the high ground angle. Down to just cry out. In a 1v4. Yeah, I mean, good luck trying to do this one again. There's a wall in his face. No one's happening. It flashed up, so now they know exactly where he is and there it is high ground angle watch for how ridiculous that that's the round there disposal and it's the same play by energy there's no real you know offset to that they're able to get that sage wall down which gives them a lot of information and finesse slight uh, off angle a bit of jar and the rest of his team as well locks down that the long angle on top of it. Over the strike into the back. Ultra being committed into this one, but 100 Thieves is a little bit disjointed. They're just battling right through, and guess what? Crashies! They all fall beneath his gaze. Derek, though, might try and switch things up once more. Absolute Ferrari swing, ripping off the heads of his oppositions, but it's going to take off in his face. Som sticking it down all the way. Needs to be spam onto the angle, but it's just too much to predict. And Som, well, Crush is too not fake still. Doesn't get his head here. taken off his shoulders. Sives in the moment gets good info for it. Now we see it. Initiation, potential. It's there. Movement's got to be corrected. Double Satchel right up into the sky. Tries to avoid it. Artist close in the corner. Finesse. Well, 
the hammer and anvil pushed and pulled right into them. Tenaji who is striking. And there's a reckoning. Nade just looks unwinnable. Just looks unwinnable. We've said that one before. Needs to isolate a fight. Will not get one this time. Som takes it, Som wins it, and so seven to fast though. That's how they want to play this one. Flash in the face, a bit of anti synergy. Victor is blinding up there. Nade to clear through, and he's not wasting time, is he? Swinging right through the Nade and taking up all that space. Still the one for one, and Asana contains towards the back of the site. Stella moves forwards, blocks off the choke point, and no one can move past it. They've locked it all down here, down to just Som and Artis. Now, what's a tool here? But they haven't. Yeah, it's still only him defending B. Knocked off to the close corner here. Spots it with a jiggle. Wow, okay. Good reaction from Som. Now, how do you want to approach this one if you are 100 Thieves? Molly to the side. Jumping straight up. You've got to be taking these fights clean, though, and it doesn't look just that likely. The frenzy's in the face. That's going to drop to one health, and he's just not able to do it. NRG. Towards the spike is leaning towards Hooker. 100 Thieves left. have read it, but they don't have much utility. They flash slow. Satchel movement. Tries to offset it. Still cryo. Round to the side. It's going to be the cove in his face, but no one's planting this one. Time running so low. And there's Som just trying to isolate these fights. One after the other moves to the side. He gets his two kills. Spike has to be planted, though. Bang. Creeping crawling around the side. He spots the plan and denies it. Okay. Be planted, though. Nade. No, nope, denies it, actually. So has to back away. Have to respect this one. Still with the ults online. Classic kill. Showstopper. Oh, but a strike committing it. The call has been made, and there's a hundred thieves who are winning it. Look at that. Last player standing. No rivals in their hands. Left up to Som now. Rez bringing Derek back into the fold, making sure that this is fully cleaned up. No gaps in the play, no weaknesses. Cascades in their face, blocked off. A bit of spam. Maybe a kill could be found, but no, it's counterplay. Follow Seekers as well. Now going to be that extra level applied. They know where Cryo is, they know his position's noted. There's going to be a double swing, should be clinical, should be clean, but again, you are facing Cryo. You're trying to take the fight to him, eventually he falls as Asana tries to relieve that pressure, flooding into the back, but the crossfire setup's too damn good. And left out of Derek. Spike planted. That was what one of the players is, tries to get one of the fights under his belt. Wins it, still low. Flash to the side, pushes them back and away, spring down, hoping that they would swing into it. The moment, but with 25 seconds left, if he can try and deny them from even getting into the choke point, it could make all the difference. Underhanded nade, now the reckoning, pushing through. No one can really stand still anyway, you got to try and hold your ground, but the fight's being taken anyway, battled through, still time, it's running so damn short, and bang, what a transfer. Seven seconds remaining up on top of the wall, could have been a mistake, but the spike, oh, it's planted. And time has been bored. Ardis onto the high ground position. He wins his fight out down to Stella to salvage the map, to keep them in it. But NRG, they've already got his position noted. It's doubled up, it's doubled up is the play, and it works out. 2-18. Time this round, because they didn't control halls. And this fight is so important over towards Arcade. First bit of a pump there towards Jenny. Wide swing as well, coverage from the rest of his team. Asana. Needs to get a kill, needs to try and find his one here to the side, Som though. Enough time being bought, Stella pushing him back, Som low enough, a bit of spam, one chip damage will do it, but he still survives in the middle of all of this. And the post plan setup just too damn clean, NRG, strolling. Find an opening, it's contacting through, not making any noise all the way up the ropes, it's a risky venture from him. There could be somebody holding left. just close and he wouldn't be favoured taking that fight, yet still, he clears it out behind the dice though. That's what they'll strike, but it's that pincer. And containment still. B. Safe hands from Derek. Three in a round four and shuts that one down in a moment's notice. Seekers Trailblazer splitting up. It's a convergence onto the site. The dash forwards from Ardis. High ground contained, yet still Stella. He's anchoring, reigning supreme, and he's got the help of the rest of his team. Barreling through. A flood attempt to deny. Crashes. Showcasing some of that consistency, and at the same time, it's Victor as well. He's evened this up. But the spike is spike out into the open. The fight wants to be taken straight to them. A smoke to cut off one of the angles. This is risky. Mario potentially opened himself up there to many, many angles, but backs away to safety. Now a flash as well, pushing a back, comes out of this. Oh my. This one, almost every team has a protocol to push B. And they've essentially flipped the map. That's going to be a rolling thunder. So used to push them forwards, Cryo. Trying to take up this space, does he realize? Still, Artis is there, off to the side, dash, updraft, it doesn't matter, he does not survive. A flood in, it's up to back. 
holding his ground behind the dice angle again, but it's watched for. And an archie looking oh, so yeah, damn in control. Molly at defeat, denying him. Isolated, he's been found, and the op's gonna be called out. Smokes dropped. Time is of the essence. Orbital strike to cut them through, and that's to try and isolate one of those fights, but again, just spam on the other side of it. Bang gets caught out. Here. Rolling Thunder, why not? Throw it into the mix. Pushing them all the way back, and the operator gets nothing done. Close to the corner, a fight needs to be won. It's Asana. You see that sad blue X on the map. And there lies the treasure, the operator. Not gonna be able to save it. There's no chance. And RG would love to hunt for some rifles here, obviously, with the state of the economy. 400 thieves. Gotta stay alive, gotta stay healthy. Asana's is low, he'll go down. Single shot. And with the blade storm already used, with the operator offline as well. It is now been close though. Derek's inside the smoke in case they decide to contact. He hears the orb being picked up, so now he's got to know. But when is this going to be fading? Well, being used up close, holding straight to them. Double up draft play, they spam it out. Still at us over the top. Nana Swarm at his feet. Can't remain rooted, can't remain stationary, and he will not. With the right click clearing a way through, a path is gained. But with 15 seconds left, an opportunity for 100 Thieves. Can they deny this? No! Flick to the side, bang is met. Into the head, though. Operator versus operator, a bit of a sniper battle. Finesse positioning, good in the post plant. Cryo looking for it. Trying to retake this one with the orb, the angle. Last player stand. Take it to the side, watching it a wide swing from Finesse. Any sort of danger in this game. It is going to be heartbreak in the 100 Thieves camp if it carries on like this. And now I'm you're seeing a bit of desperation. Tired. Full containment, 100 Thieves, they want to try and rolling thunder and fight this one aggressively with the Seekers. Split its way through. Spike down, B. Well, look at that. Still, NRG, how are they winning this fight? Victor just ran in. I mean, it's just absurd. He just ran. Sella's got to try and find one of these fights. He hears the jump spots. We know some located, spots the other one. Now it's going to be noted, yet still doesn't win the fight. I mean, confidence from Victor. Their only major rounds they've won in this whole match were Cryo's 1v4 and Asuna's 1v2. What, they won a couple of sprinkling pistols in right between? Oh, no way, not like this. What? Why not? Spectre straight into the smoke. Who knows what? Absolutely everything here. No one looking to the size. Close into the corner, stunned up, Som. Still not being cleared and a fight being taken, split apart at the seams. Som still claims two, just close, but it's not planned for them. Sticking, defusing all the way through, but being swarmed from every angle, and he can't get it through. 11 rounds, one is all 100 Thieves. Leaf one on Fracture. See if there's a way to rally back here for 100 Thieves, but NRG might just be trying to compete for one of the most one-sided maps that we've seen in the Americas thus far. Already a grand start, a grand opening. But spamming into the common positions, Victor's oh, dealt with oh, what oh. is that by Ardis? The adjustment, the flick to the side, Warbang in play, damage being done, shot doesn't land. Stella survives, but now he is just being picked apart. Flash, not connecting down to Asana. to 1v2 to win the pistol, to have any chance of this one. Wider swing, you can feel it. It's all being applied, and it's NRG who win it. We're witnessing it right now with that scoreline. Still 100 Thieves attempting to battle back, scraping back. It's got to be one round at a time, and it's got to be here. It's got to be now. Fights taken, fights won. So the first piece of the puzzle sorted. Smoke's down. It's a good post plan position as well. Full containment there towards Halls and Drop. Even a couple of players onto the site. I've just seen so many favored situations slip away from this team. No oh. way. Trade there onto Som. Two versus three. The position is noted. Stella needs to be that last extra element in this round now. After shot, clears out the corner. You know they can't stand their ground, but it's good util to push them back even still. A double face as well. Fights a one out, so. I guess I can't blame him for that one. It was a he, tough one. He's just looking to get info I've and escape. The Seeker's going to be offloaded now, pushing into the side. This is going to be a fast play. 100 Thieves, risks could be opened up right now. Dash over the top. Stun is landed. A bit of running gun is what's necessary. Get that RG. Oh my word. Four survive. With Stella the last one standing. It's up to him.
And too much to do. 13 to 3. One of the most one-sided maps we've seen. Not the most one-sided yet. And actually winning.